mentally, some of you already are actually talking yourself out of the training session because you know there's a physical element to it. I know it's a long day. The hardship is that you might have to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning or 3 a.m. in the morning, but I'd like you to infuse us as the coaches and you to drive the session. Right, let's go then. Come on, nice rhythm. Nice rhythm in between. Well done, good. That's good, boys. Well done. We want these boys to act and, and be part of this group as if it is a club, which it is for us. Uh, so they're doing their pre season just like they would at any professional club. Technically, I've got no doubt about this group of boys. Uh, mentally and physically, that's where I'll be asking the questions right now. We've started this morning with a more of a technical one, but real tight areas, high intensity is pre-season and the boys need their work. I want anyone who's going to shut that ball down to be right about the way they're shutting down. We go one way, not two. At this moment, they're doing a six and a half minute run. Uh, they've got a thousand metres to do, but if they get in in three and a half minutes, they get the rest of the rest. If they get in in five minutes, 35 seconds, they only get a few seconds rest. So it's in their interest to get in as quick as possible. Go on, Moon, good boys. Well done. You keep going on that, OK? Still very early part of pre-season and we need to get the boys fitter. Come on, come on. That's how you should look after that run. As you can see running around here, some of them are, are, are really way, way above where they should be right now and some of them really, really need it. Certainly tomorrow, some of them will feel that in the game, but uh, they'll just have to get on with it. We worked with them extremely hard yesterday. They did a good hours technical session, which was a high tempo, really worked hard on pressing, which we're going to hopefully see in the, in the game today. This morning, we'll literally do 15 minutes in here, doing the short, sharp passing, finish with some set pieces, 10 minutes to themselves, off their legs, ready for the game this afternoon. For me, and the boys know it as well, the higher you go, games are won and lost on set pieces. So we do a, a little bit with them every game or day before a game. We didn't want to take too much out of their legs, but we just wanted to get their legs going. And they're up smelling the fresh air and in a great environment, ready to go. They'll have a little bit of downtime now, then they should be ready and prepared for the game. This is going to be a great game for you to play, a different type of game for you to play, and you should all really enjoy it. Make sure you're right with it, OK? The result is far less important. Getting your fitness programme in, your strength programme in, your technical and tactical programme in, that's what today's game's about. It's a great little test for you. We're difficult to break down because we've got good players. This is European football. You've got to be patient defensively, but also patient in possession. Keep trying, keep probing, you'll get there. I've really enjoyed that up there. Good 45 minutes. Can we have an even better next 45 minutes? Parts of it was very, very good. At times we got a little stretched. We will take a lot out of this few days here. Also for me, it actually says to the boys, you can work very hard day before game. You can get your pre-season in and it's not really going to affect your performance. The, the pre-season programme isn't about results. It's about trying to ensure that the players are in a, a much better condition than they were when they started. The three games so far have demonstrated that. Good performances and pleasing results.